Hi guys and thanks for tuning in to Tech Stuff and More and today I want to talk about the ICOM IC9700 and how it will work for you if you want to primarily use it as an FM and repeater rig. Uh, if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet please do so and please also like the video if you do like it uh, to help the algorithms and, and all that jazz. Um, so uh, first of all I bought this rig myself to primarily use it for CW and single sideband, uh, Aurora weak signal work uh, but some of you may want to use it for satellite work or even digital work um, and uh, some of you maybe just want to have a larger VHF uh, UHF SHF rig sing sitting on your desk so uh, this video will uh, only cover um, how to use it on FM and on repeaters and what I think about it for, for that kind of use. And then you can also uh, in the comments tell me what you think about it. Or if I'm saying anything wrong, please correct me uh, in, in the comments. So um, let's start with uh, by looking at the, the display. It has a very nice large display. It uh, looks a lot like IC7300 or like uh, IC705. Um, so my overall feeling is that it is a uh, IC7300, but with IC705 functionality when it comes to VHF, UHF. As you can see now, I have uh, I have it sitting on a single band here. Uh, I have the spectrum scope on and uh, I can turn the spectrum scope off if I want. Um, I can replace it with, for instance, an audio scope or I can replace it with, uh, with uh, uh, displaying all the meters in the radio. So those are some of the functions. And um, I can hold this button in again to go back to the memory scope. Um, and um, you can display just on half the screen or on, on full screen. Very easy to, to switch around. Um, <clears throat> but now it's only showing the, uh, the one uh, band on the one of the receivers in the radio. Uh, as you can see, I also have, um, have, have uh, entered alphanumerics for this repeater frequency right here. And uh, it's very easy to enter, not a lot of work at all. Uh, you just uh, press uh, menu, uh, you push memory, and then you hold this in. And here you can just edit the name if you, if you like. So very nice and easy to, uh, to work uh, with the memory channels on this radio. Um, you can also set the priority on each memory channel. Uh, you will get a little star down here, like a star one, star two, star three, and you can you can scan then only uh, frequencies that's marked one, or only the ones that are marked two or three, or you can scan them all together. Many uh, functions and very easy to get to. So, so as a as a as a mono band uh, rig for scanning repeaters and simplex channels, very nice radio. Um, as you already know, I'm sure, uh, this radio only covers the amateur radio bands. So if you're looking for a radio to scan taxis and, and emergency services or, or whatever else, then this is not radio for you. This is a pure amateur radio band radio and uh, it cannot be modified either to go outside of the bands. Um, so that's one of the cons for, for some of you. If you want to uh, to switch the receiver here, uh, you can uh, you can do it many different ways. So, or a few different ways, anyways. One of the ways is you can just uh, push the frequency band uh, or um, uh, where it says 145 megahertz. Then you can change it to 70 centimeters or to 23 centimeters, just by pushing one of these buttons right here. Or you can enter the frequency directly, of course. Uh, also, um, my other receiver is, uh, is now sitting on either 70 centimeters or 23 centimeters. So if I want to swap, I can just, uh, I can just hold this button in and I will bring on my other receiver. And I can switch back and forth. If I want both of them at the same time, I can do so by holding this in. Now it will show both frequencies at the same time. If I wanted to uh, if I want to display to, to show the frequencies a little larger, I can just get rid of the scope just by pushing exit and we'll um, go back to only showing the frequencies. So um, let's get into uh, to scanning. Um, scanning works 
quite well. And for me to scan now the uh, this the active frequencies, so you can you can change the, these two uh, and make whichever side you want active. The only thing you need to know is that is that it will only transmit on the band that's on top of the display when you have two bands like this. And uh, and also when you want to change this band, you cannot change it to two meters. Because I have two meters on the top display, you can only change it to one of the bands you uh, you don't have selected on the top. So that means you, you cannot do VHF, VHF for UHF, UHF. It needs to be different bands right here. So that's a bit of a con. Um, I wish you could have both on, on both sides. Um, it is fully duplex though, so uh, while you're transmitting on, on one band, you are still receiving at the same time as you're transmitting on one of the other bands. Of course, for satellite work too, uh, it, it needs to be to be fully duplex. Um, so let's um, let's do scanning. Um, to scan, I can just hold this button in; it will start scanning right away. Or I can just push it once, and then you can select if you want to scan all of the memories or just the ones you have flagged with the star one, star two, star three, or you can scan you can scan all of them that you have flagged, but not the ones that you have not flagged. And you can also scan just uh, one of the modes, for instance. And you can you can also do like a band scan, uh, obviously. So let's just uh, hold this in. There, it will start scanning. And uh, if I now uh, want to scan the other side of the radio, if I want to scan 70 centimeters at the same time, you cannot do that here. You cannot mix mix bands um, in the same band you're scanning. So for me to scan 70 centimeters now, I'll just make it active. I push the, and hold the scan button. There you go. Now it's scanning both of the bands. It's very easy to do, really. So uh, it's really no sweat, um, as long as you don't also want to scan SHF at the same time, like at a 23 centimeter frequency. Uh, it remembers that it's scanning. So if I turn off, so I only run with one band right now. I hold this button in. Uh, I only have one band. I can put on scope if I want. Um, if I want to scan both uh, band, both bands again, all I have to do is to activate it. It remembers that I was scanning it. So it will keep scanning when I turn it back on. Um, so that's uh, that's a good thing. So let's uh, make it into a mono band radio again and uh, let's stop this. Um, what I really do like about this too is that, um, which is easier than my uh, my mobile radios. I have a few Yesu mobile radios, I have a Kenwood mobile radio. And uh, if you want to listen to the infrequency, like uh, if you're operating a repeater and you want to see if you can hear the person directly without going through the repeater, then you have to push the reverse button on the other radios. And uh, on the Yesu radios, there's no reverse button on the front panel even. You have to go through a menu uh, or you can program it uh, in the microphone. But here it has this cross frequency check button, XFC. <clears throat> and with this, you can, uh, you can push this. And now, as you can see, I have a tone squelch, which means that uh, even if the squelch is off, you will not hear any, any hiss. So um, if I push this, it will start monitoring the uh, infrequency to the repeater and it will also bypass the uh, tone squelch. And also, if you have a simplex frequency, this works as a monitor button to, uh, to disable the squelch. Um, so that's a very nice function that I, that I really like. Um, these filters right here, uh, now it sits, it sits on filter 3. In the manual, ICOM explains that filter 1 is uh, wide FM and filter 2 and 3 is narrow FM. So that's basically how you can use it. And uh, I do find that um, here in Norway, we have a 12.5 kilohertz um, uh, spacing between the, uh, the channels in the VHF area uh, that we, uh, we recommend, uh, or some repeaters, you have to use narrow. So, uh, uh, so on the repeaters, I have them set to filter 3, which is narrow, and then uh, on simplex, I have it set to filter 1. So these filters you can change. I can change it as easily as this uh, and cycle through the filters or I can hold in this filter button and here you can um, you can make some other changes and you can also on single sideband, you can also change the softness of the filter. Uh, so that's a good function. And uh, it shows it, it shows the bandwidth. Uh, so the bandwidth is 15 kilohertz, which is approximately seven and a half kilohertz deviation. Um, and um, so that's why 
I have it the way I do with the filter three on the repeaters, which works well. Um, the uh, the audio on in, in this radio is very good. Just keep in mind that, um, or maybe you can do some changes in the menu, but the way it is default is that it has an output for, uh, for uh, main VFO and output for sub VFO. So I have I have one external speaker, but when I go, listen to the sub VFO, it comes out of the internal speaker. Uh, the audio out, uh, that's one of the pros. <clears throat> Uh, when I first started to use the radio, I contacted one of my uh, one of my friends. He lives uh, a few miles away, and um, and what he said right away is that uh, you're loud. Uh, it sounds like a lot of deviation. He said it's very loud, but at the same time, it's not distorted. So uh, he says uh, he says you can definitely tell that you're not using uh, using handheld radio, and um, of course you can get handle radio probably to sound just uh, just uh, or like this one but uh it's this kind of thing that you that you like to hear is loud is not distorted at all and um, i'm using just the uh the included hand microphone and after that i have had some other qso's with other people and without me saying anything they just uh, they just said that uh, they just tells me that it sounds very good um so that's good um what else to say what else to say yes it has of course a preamp it has an attenuator and um you can you can uh, turn it on on and off of this uh, function right here preamp attenuator it works on fm as well uh it doesn't really do a lot it just makes the s meter go up a little bit but uh if you if you listen to very very weak station he's barely making it through the squash then it will make some difference and that's probably the point anyways oh uh, also what i want to tell you is how to turn on and off tones let's stop this scanning here so if i want to to change the um the ctcss or if i want to uh, put on the dts I can just push this tone button in and um, and here you can uh, turn off the tone if you want. Uh, I can put it back on tone squelch. If you want to change the tone, you hold this button in and with the VFO, you just change the tone to whatever you want and uh, go out. Um, so that's, uh, that's how that works. So um, I hope this could be helpful for some of you. If you haven't done so already, uh, again, please uh, hit that subscribe button. Uh, and also hit like if you if you like the video. Thank you so much for listening, and uh, talk to you later. Best seventy threes.